Think about the last time you introduced yourself to somebody. After you give them your name, most people often will ask, what do you do? And the reason why is because in the world, we've learned to define people not by who they are, but by what they do. That goes all the way back to the beginning when we walked away from our identity being found in who God is and what he's done and what he, who he's declared us to be to really putting our identity in what we do. The good news about the gospel, though, is that when God comes into your life, he declares you righteous. He declares you his child. He declares you to be good because of his work that he did through Jesus Christ, not because of your work or your failures. That's why when we make disciples, we baptize them into the name of the Father, in the name of the Son, and the name of the Holy Spirit. We get a new identity, we get a new name. We're a new creation. I love this about God because in the story, you see he gives Abram the name Abraham, which means God is going to make him a father of many nations before he does anything. The good news is, is that God declares us to be something and then God does something so that we can become a new creation. And as we get a new identity and a new name, we can do new work. With God, it's always being preceding our doing. With the world, it's doing that precedes our being. I'd much rather walk in the ways of God where I get to rest in who he is and what he's done, making me who I am. And then I can do what I'm meant to do because of who God is and what he's done in my life.